and welcome to The Richie Rich Show. I'm Richard Walker, and this is the show. Have you ever stopped to think about the huge impact that technology has had on our lives? Since the invention of the wheel in 4 BC, inventions have been making the work of the human race easier with advancements in communication, computing, and medical technology, and lots more. It's hard to imagine the world without technology, but is an obsession with it pushing God out of our lives? Technology is supposed to help us folks, not interrupt our walk with God. I mean, can you imagine if someone just interrupted my show while I'm talking? <laughs> Hello, Caleb from the UK First Love Church. Thanks for interrupting my show again. How can I help you? So, I saw those mistakes in those last couple of episodes. Are you losing it, Richie? Huh? Huh? You losing it, boy? You don't want me to come down there. I'm gonna let you finish. Thank God for technology. Well, folks, we're going to talk a whole lot more about technology today. First, let's have some shout outs. I just want you to know that I've had a lot of requests for shout outs lately. And I can't deliver them all because it would take up a whole episode of a show. So, I just wanted you to know that if you've requested a shout out, it is definitely coming. Even if it's in episode 99. First shout out goes to Apostle Joel from the United States. I'm blessed to be here. My name is Apostle Joel and um, I'm blessed to be at this first homecoming convention. Next shout out goes to Sister Leonora Jamie from Milton Keynes. I enjoy that you enjoy the Richie Rich Show, and I hope you enjoy that I enjoy that you enjoy the Richie Rich Show. And I hope you keep enjoying. <laughs> Next shout out goes to Wandsworth Road. Two weeks ago, I spent 45 minutes on a bus on Wandsworth Road. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Final shout out goes to Jemima. Now a few weeks ago I had to go to North London for an interview and I had no idea where I was going. Jemima spotted my Jesus is Lord shirt on the tube and it turns out she was going exactly where I was. Thank you Jemima for helping me get to my interview. I hope you will prosper and be in good health and do well in life in Jesus name. Well, folks, that's all the shout-outs we've got for today. Please enjoy the show. You are... But there's one thing that you, Richie, you need to rectify. The show needs more Mr. James. Ecclesiastes 12.13 Everything you were taught can be put into a few words. Respect and obey God. This is what life is all about. My name is Scott. You're watching The Richie Rich Show. Transport. Military. Healthcare. These are just some of the fields that modern technology has impacted. In fact, just look at your mobile phone. 20 years ago, it was just a phone. Today, it is a multifunctional computer that can't make tea. 
Wise people and the wisdom of God is responsible for these life-changing creations because the Bible says that wisdom has the knowledge of witty inventions. Let's quickly look at some of the ways modern technology has been good to mankind. Number, Number one, one, communication has improved. With the invention of Morse code in 1836 and the telephone in 1876, communication began to move beyond just writing letters like in the days of Elijah. Today, there are so many methods of communication that it is far easier to get a hold of someone. Did you get the song that I sent you? No, my tablet's dead. What about your laptop? Oh, I left that at home. And what about your phone? Oh yeah! Number two, the size of gadgets and appliances. The first digital computer was the Atasoft Berry Computer, which weighs 50 stones or 700 pounds. That's the weight of 664 iPads. Today, all kinds of appliances sit comfortably in the palms of our hands. Hello? Margaret! Margaret! What is it, Anthony? Margaret, Margaret, you know that I love you and want to marry you. And I know that you love gadgets. That's why you studied computer science at university. I also studied it to get away from you. Anyway, I found the most neat little disco ball type thingy. And it only costs 10 pounds. I'm going to bring it over to you right now. That's the beauty of it, Mogweb! It's so small, it couldn't possibly do any damage to you or to me! <laughs> Number 3. Education and Humanities have improved. Technology is indirectly responsible for there being okay, more courses um, okay. to choose from. For example, because of modern cameras, photography is now not such an obscure subject to study anymore. Technology has also helped with general social and business needs. Record keeping, devices for hospitals, and CCTV to name a few have made it easier to provide justice and better health care across the world. Number four the wealth of information available at your fingertips. The days of going to libraries and searching for books are being minimized. Now, with the internet, so much is available at the press of a button. For Christians, we can download different apps to help us with Bible study. Need dictionaries as you read the word? Use Olive Tree Bible Study or eSword. Got difficult questions about Christianity? Use Got Questions. We need to be close to God through Jesus Christ above all. And technology can help us in doing so. Yeah. Seeing as this is the tech episode, I thought I'd share some of the tech things that I grew up with. This is a Play School tape recorder, bought for me when I was two years old. I loved recording myself and making pretend radio programs. Today, I'm not much different. Did you know that I also loved building robots? This is Craig, a robot I developed out of a remote-controlled car. I tried to enter it on a TV program called Techno Games, and I wanted to go to Robot Wars as well. This is my latest games console, a PlayStation 1. Yes, 1 from 2002. Maybe in a few years I'll upgrade to a PS2. This is a Tiger Power Pack PC, which I got when I was 6. It's not really a PC, it's more like a toy with games on it. And it doesn't make tea. This is my current computer, a Samsung Galaxy. Okay, just kidding. This is a Samsung laptop, and I've used it to make every Richie Rich show. But I seriously need to upgrade it to take my videography to the next level. 
so I need to savor it. Watch this space. Is technology all good? I don't think so. Because if you can put a B on a pair of headphones and sell them for 169 pounds, then there must be something wrong! Anyway, here are some of the downsides to technology running wild. Number one, impersonal communication. Skype, Viber, BBM, WhatsApp, Twitter, Communication has become so impersonal nowadays, you can never be totally sure who you're speaking to. And sometimes, things that can and should be said in person are said with a text. I've got something really important to tell you. Really? What is it? It's really, really important. Really? What is it? I sent it to you. Number two, the price of technology. Good appliances that don't break easily are certainly not cheap. Now it's understandable that modern technology is expensive. Because seriously, 169 for headphones. 169 pounds. Did these headphones die for our sins? Do Beats headphones make tea? Why do they cost so much? And repairing appliances? Gosh, sometimes it costs more than the appliance itself. Why yes, we can repair those headphones for you. For one million dollars! <laughs> Number three, the learning curve and the misuse of technology. You know, there are so many things our appliances, and especially our computers, can do that we don't use them for, because we just don't know. For example, the music on all of my Richie Rich shows, I made it on my iPad. Did you know that your iPad could do that? For older generations and some people, learning to use technology can be difficult and unrewarding. Hey girl, how you like a new iPhone I got you for your birthday? Well, do you know what? I'll be honest, it's nice, but it doesn't actually do what I want it to. Well, I've used it as a paperweight. The paper keeps flying away. I've used it as a doorstop, and the door won't stop. <laughs> and finally, number four. Technology replacing God. I don't necessarily mean that people have started praying to cars and machines. What I mean is that many of us, at times, place our phones, our computers, our televisions ahead of God. Though we call ourselves believers, many people today sleep with chargers plugged near their beds instead of Bibles. Some people feel naked leaving their house without their phone, but do they feel anything when they leave their house without praying? Don't you think you'd be closer to God if you picked up the Word of God as much as you pick up your phone? I'm not saying technology is evil. I'm saying that technology has its place. Like Scott read for us earlier, life is about respecting and obeying God. There is so much good potential in the world of technology. And as we seek the Kingdom of God first, we will find the ultimate use for technology in the world. In conclusion everyone, technology is here to serve us so that we can serve and love God. Our phones and computers seem to always be close to our hearts and hands, almost like idols and household gods, sometimes speaking nonsense to us in empty words. But let's always have the Word of God close to our hands and close to our hearts and let's use technology to help us do that. Instead of checking WhatsApp and Facebook first thing in the morning, wake up to spend time with Jesus praying and reading the Bible. Don't let technology use you and become your God, but instead use technology to improve your life and to serve our God in heaven. Thanks for watching guys, and please live for Jesus. He is the one 
worth living for. Take care of yourselves. Richard, and Mommy wants to know what her disco ball is. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to use technology one more time to help me. Bye, everyone. <laughs>